Welcome to this fact check video where we'll discuss the facts and debunk the myths about using embedded service processors versus using KVM switches. Let's start with a quick description of embedded service processors, otherwise known as ESPs. They can be either a chip on a BMC module or a separate card within a server. They allow many remote management functions, including using KVM over IP, virtual media support, SNMP, event logging, power control, and more. Most server manufacturers have their own proprietary ESPs. These include IBM, HP, Sun, and Dell. A primary benefit of using a traditional KVM switch to access a server is that it provides an alternative access method. This is crucial if the primary method becomes unavailable. To mimic this functionality, most ESPs are connected to an IP network that is separate from the primary network. The embedded service processors are built into and bundled as part of the server. Because there is no visible extra charge for the hardware in the server, many are led to believe that these embedded service processors are free. But that's like listening to a used car salesman saying he's going to sell you this cream puff below his cost if you sign his contract now. Think about why those server companies would include ESPs for free. Maybe because they're not really free? And maybe instead they're meant to provide substantial cash for those companies? Here are just a couple of reasons why embedded service processors aren't really free. Cabling can cost from $200 to $600 per drop. Additional software licenses can cost over $500. The increased complexity when using multiple proprietary packages can range from small to breathtakingly large during a crisis situation. And finally, embedded service processors don't allow for backward compatibility. Let's take a closer look at these issues. To mimic a KVM network's out-of-band functionality, the ESPs must be connected to separate Ethernet switches and assign IP addresses. Will you be locating the Ethernet switches in every rack or every other rack? Or will you be sending all those cables over to the network racks? Since you'll have hundreds or thousands of these ESPs that you might need to access, you'll need to assign and manage all those IP addresses. Even more expensive is the need for software packages to manage quick access to all those connections. There are Fortune 100 IT companies that place the cost of a drop at more than $600 a drop. This cost includes just cabling, switches, and labor, but doesn't factor in software and management overhead. The total ESP cost can match or even exceed costs for deploying and using a KVM switch network. Most of those server companies provide just minimal features with the basic embedded service processor. Want things like virtual media or power control? For that, you'll need to buy additional software licenses, sometimes priced per additional feature. That can quickly add up to hundreds of dollars more per server. Also, the cost to manage hundreds of ESPs can be quite expensive. A Raritan KVM access solution averages between $250 to $500 per server with a large number of additional features and capabilities included in that price. Increased operational complexity is one of those soft costs that could be small or it could be job-threateningly huge. Despite the desire to reduce vendors, there'll always be the need to purchase specialized equipment and a typical IT operation will always have multiple vendors. But when you have multiple vendors, each with their own proprietary ESPs and proprietary management software, then that complexity can quickly become dangerous. When you're having a problem with a mission-critical server, you need to access and repair it as soon as possible. First, you need to access the correct software that controls that ESP. And hopefully you or your on-hand staff will have learned how to use all the different ESP software packages in your data center. Even if you're familiar with all the ESP softwares, if you're moving fast in a crisis situation, be very careful because the different ESP softwares are laid out differently and clicking the wrong button can make things worse. In this case, the single pane of glass concept is very important and we'll discuss how to achieve that ideal later in this video. One last cost that is also a soft cost is that when server companies introduce a new versions of embedded service processors, they frequently aren't backward compatible. 
so you might need to run multiple software management packages just to control all the ESPs from one manufacturer. Multiple software management packages from multiple vendors can quickly add up to a serious migraine, but it doesn't have to get this complicated. The answer to many problems caused by the alleged free embedded service processors is just say no to ESPs. An alternative is to use Raritan's award-winning solution. Raritan negates complexity by giving you one screen to access all your servers. This single pane of glass lets you launch connections to those servers no matter what access method you're using. We even give you easy and secure access to the ESPs in your data center if you really want to use them as part of your solution. Raritan has pioneered many advances in remote server management, and we are now the acknowledged leader in advanced power management software and rack power distribution units. Raritan's KVM solution provides unified out-of-band management to your entire IT infrastructure from a single client. With the Command Center Secure Gateway, you can configure multiple access paths to your servers and infrastructure devices, and each access method is started with just one click from an easy-to-use graphical user interface. This GUI allows very granular control over users, access methods, and allowable functions. Want to give someone RDP access to a server but not allow them to perform power cycling of that server? That's simple to do with the command center. From just one GUI, you can manage all your ESPs, blade servers, virtual servers, virtual machines, KVM and serial switches, and any SNMP-enabled rack PDU. You can also use traditional IP access methods such as RDP, VNC, Telnet, and SSH from that same GUI. Raritan has pioneered many advances in remote server management. Absolute mouse synchronization provides perfect mouse synchronization on Windows and Mac servers. No longer do you need to adjust mouse settings on target servers. Raritan offers virtual media with the most available features and options. Easily transfer files from your hard drive, internal or external CD, USB drive, or even local or network-based ISO files. Raritan also leads with the industry's best video resolution and most video resolution options. Support is provided for the widest range of browsers, clients, and operating systems. You could use Windows, Linux, Mac, or Sun, and use Internet Explorer, Firefox, Safari, or Mozilla browsers. Raritan even has multiple clients for those companies that restrict browser access to mission-critical servers. Finally, Raritan takes data security very seriously. We were the first to encrypt the mouse, keyboard, and video streams, and the first to deliver common access card support for authentication. Raritan is currently the only KVM company to have achieved the U.S. and Canadian government's highest security certifications for data encryption, which are the FIPS 140-2 standards. Command Center Secure Gateway automatically discovers IPMI agents for seamless power on, off, recycle, and graceful shutdown of servers. CCSG can control Raritan Intelligent Rack PDUs, and by integrating with PowerIQ, CCSG can also control SNMP-enabled Rack PDUs from almost any manufacturer. PowerIQ is Raritan's award-winning power management and reporting software. CCSG can even access ILO, DRAC, IMM, and RSA to control power of those servers equipped with those embedded processors. Configuring a Dominion KX2 KVM network is simple. For the KX2, add an IP address and set up authentication and access rights. Then just connect the computer interface module, also called a SIM or dongle, to the server. Connect the CAT5 cable from the dongle to the KVM switch and you're set. A single KVM switch takes much less time than configuring 48 embedded processors because each ESP requires network setup, user privileges, SNMP alerts, and other parameters to be configured for that ESP. The Command Center Secure Gateway can also manage hundreds of Raritan KVM and serial switches. When a new firmware version with new capabilities is released, it's easy to update existing firmware. CCSG can authenticate with Active Directory or other LDAP servers, or RADIUS, or even TACX+. Creating users, user groups, devices, and device groups is a simple process. Policies can then be applied to customize permissions to a very granular level if the need exists. 
In addition, Command Center Secure Gateway has more authentication capabilities. Smart Card and Common Access Card authentication is available, along with full strong password enablement. Contrast this with ESPs, where often a default username and password is used for each ESP. Anyone who adds the username and password can obtain access to that server without central logging of their access. Both the Command Center and the KX2 enable remote, secure, logged, and compliant access from either across the room or across the globe. So what happens if the network crashes? KVM and serial switches can be configured with modem access for disaster recovery. If you need to access the switch while you're in the data center, Raritan has created the industry's first fully featured local GUI for easy admin management when using the local port. Embedded service processors don't offer those abilities. The conclusion is now very clear. ESPs are not free, and in many circumstances they can cost more than a fully featured KVM solution. Data centers rarely include a single vendor solutions, and managing multiple vendor solutions can be very costly in terms of money and operational headaches. ESP management features less convenience, flexibility, and overall performance than a centralized KVM solution. Raritan solution is easier to configure and maintain. It comes with industry-leading features that are constantly being improved upon. Over the past 20 years, Raritan has showed an unparalleled dedication to keep its title as the best KVM switch in the world. We take great pride in developing new technologies to meet the needs of the evolving data center. Our KVM Intelligent Rack PDUs and Power Management products are the leading solutions in their respective fields. Raritan is dedicated to helping IT and data center people with innovative, award-winning products. KX2, SX, and CCSG offer centralized management and access of servers and infrastructure equipment. DC Track, Raritan's data center infrastructure management software, offers sophisticated visualization tools and capacity and configuration management. PowerIQ is an energy management solution that utilizes power usage data from any SNMP-enabled power distribution unit to help increase energy efficiency. And the Dominion PX line of intelligent rack power distribution units offer control and outlet level metering with billing grade accuracy. Thank you for viewing this video about FactCheck, the real story behind the difference between embedded service processors and KVM networks. For more information about any of the products that you've heard about in this video, please visit www.raritan.com. For more training-related information, please visit www.raritantraining.com.